right, what is up? We get a live watch the last two minutes of this intense football game that has driven me crazy at multiple moments. But sometimes you just got to sit back and laugh at the uh, hilarity of the situation. But yeah, crazy thing is the Vikings win this game. They're going to move back into the sixth seed. Uh, barring, of course, the Washington uh, Washington versus the Raiders. And uh, Atlanta is about to lose to Tampa Bay. Philadelphia is about to win, but they're going to be 6-7. and seven. Um, We'll see, though. Vikings got to finish the deal here. So, yeah, ideally you score a touchdown here, like on this play. Uh, if not, you kick the three. You know, not too complicated. Um, so, let's see what happens. Uh, man, Justin Jefferson, different breed. Okay, let's see what happens. Oh, wow. Cookies. That man right there is a top three receiver in the league, and nobody can change my mind. I mean, you talk about a complete skill set. You know, and I remember before that draft, there were so many people hating on him. Um, Vikings, a lot of like Vikings fans included, were like, I'm going to delete my account if we draft him. And I was like, dude, I was like, that's a top two receiver in the draft. And I made sure everyone knew my thoughts about it. And uh, yeah, unguardable. I mean, truly. Not a lot of guys you can say that about, but he is unguardable. Woo! All right, they're going to go for two. Makes sense. I mean, four-point uh, game, five-point game makes a little difference. Right, come on, Cousins. I don't know about all that, but okay. All right, so um, 110 seconds, four-point deficit for Jared Goff and Dave, uh, Dan Campbell in that Lions offense with no DeAndre Swift. Uh, yeah, we'll see what happens. I mean, this Vikings defense has been on and off today, but I have uh, faith that they're going to they're gonna figure it out right here. But, yeah, we'll find out. I mean, Okay, Dolphins just beat the Giants. Dolphins on a five-game win streak now. So they're making a late push towards the playoffs. We'll see how that turns out. Uh, but I know they have a very easy schedule. I think their only, like, tough remaining game, from what I remember, is against the Patriots, uh, which is, you know, albeit all the hype going around about the Patriots, it's a very winnable game. All right, let's see what happens. Greg Joseph, big kickoff. Looks like, yep, going to be a touchback. Shout out to Greg Joseph, man. Hit all his kicks today. Uh, obviously, none of them were super long, but like sometimes you gotta, you gotta, you know, be grateful for even the short kicks. Because shout out to Blair Walsh. Yeah, this was this. I mean, man. I I gotta be honest, man. The, I I know part of it is the Lions don't have like the best run defense or whatever. But every time I watch Madison, like I really question the Vikings' decision to pay Dalvin Cook that big contract. It's just his back. Running backs are replaceable. Okay, that looked like it might have been a false start on the left tackle. But, all right. Yeah, that, I mean, that's fine. You you get him inbounds on a five-yard gain, that's a win for the defense, to be honest. Yep. Um, one of the Vikings reporters on Twitter, I think it was uh, Courtney Cronin, she was like, I don't know why the Vikings don't blitz Goff, Goff more often. He's a guy who gets really uncomfortable under pressure. And, I mean, I know it's the two-minute drill, but still you want to consider it. Okay, that was not a good spike. I'm just going to be honest. I cannot imagine Aaron Rodgers, Patrick Mahomes, Tom Brady ever spiking that situation. There is 78 seconds left. I mean, time is far from the biggest issue uh, for the long – I mean, it is an issue, but but you got to you gotta be – you got to – I mean, come on. You're just giving up a down? Like, that's crazy to me. You're basically playing with three downs now. I mean, and I'm not even I'm not even a Jared Goff hater. If on, honestly, I I probably you know perceive him a little better compared to the public because everyone thinks he's complete garbage. I think he's I think he's pretty bad, but oh man, Alexander, yeah, Josh Reynolds. Shout out to Cam Dantzler for that pick earlier too. But what I was saying was, like, yeah, obviously Goff is, like, a bottom 10 starter in QB. But, like, a lot of people consider him the worst starter in the league. I'm just not there. But the reality is, like, this situation, you know, without Sean McVay, too, 
I don't know. I don't know if he's spoke for it. And I know maybe me talking all this trash is going to come back and the Vikings are about to lose. But, yeah, two downs now. Um, play to sticks, I mean. Okay, quick hike. Ooh, now you can't leave it that. You can't leave it that wide open. And you're going to let him get out of bounds, too. That is that is really bad. That is really bad defense. Like, like horrendous. Like, atrocious defense. What is going on? What is going on? Like, how is there nobody in the middle of the field at the sticks? I mean, this is Godwin Iguabuke. Converted DBS cool star. And you let him get out of bounds, so you couldn't even tackle. I mean, I don't I don't know. All right, let's see. Well, now they're at midfield with, with 55 seconds left, and they have a fresh set of downs. I mean, now it's... Okay. That's that's honestly fine, man. You get him in bounds at any point, especially if it's not a first down, you take it. I mean, who's that? I don't think that was a Monroe St. Brown. Might have been, though. Okay, yeah, they didn't spike it this time. Mm, you can't be you can't be letting those happen though. You can't you can't be letting you can't be letting him get out of bounds like that. All right, this is this is all of a sudden bad. This is giving me serious flashbacks to Vikings Broncos 2019. Real ones remember 20-0 at halftime. Vikings are up four at the end of the game. They get all the way to our goal line. Man, yeah, that's what I'm saying, man. I agree with the commentator. Why haven't we why haven't we blitzed one time? Put some pressure on them. Don't don't let them just get down the field without any pressure, which is what we're doing right now. Okay, yet now you're starting to get to the point where allowing more yardage is, is a, you're playing a dangerous game. But okay, I'm not mad at it. Get him in inbounds. No timeouts. All right, Goff. Come on, come on, guys. Get this. No, I, oh. Come on, Breland. No. I would have I would have caught that. I would I'm sorry, I would have caught that. Austin Jin will find out on Tuesday that I'm catching that. But mm, Oh, it was right to him basically. I mean, I know it wasn't the easiest play in the world, but Yeah, so Yeah, Harrison Smith and Nick Vigil get in his face. Oh man, he I mean, everything except the finish. No penetration. Oh. This drops it. Okay, third and one. I mean, any. Ooh, was that a false? Was that a delay of game? Or a false start? Let's go. All right, third and six now. But still, 21 seconds. I mean, even two end zone shots, you got to be careful here. They scored, the game is over. So, I mean, they scored a touchdown, of course. I mean, why would I be referring to a field goal when they're down four? But I just want to clarify. Yeah, that was, that was either a delay of game or false start. So. It is interesting that they, yeah, yeah, I, I will say officials usually call it like a second after hit zero. They're just. All right. I think that's fine. I think that's fine. Because I think when they get up to spike it, it'll be around eight seconds left. And I think they'll have two plays from there. Oh, they got it down quick. Twelve. That's gonna be three plays. Oh man, this is this is tight. This is tight. I mean, you. I mean, you have two deep safeties in the end zone. I I'm not against blitzing here, but it's a huge risk. I mean, you get a sack, the game is over, right? But Goff is likely to just throw it out of the back of the end zone or launch it up to one of his receivers if he gets blitzed. For better or worse, so I, I don't know. All right, we're going to rush three, and we're going to play deep. I'm worried that there's going to be, like, a crosser over the middle of the field and a lot of yak. That's also not good. That's also not good. You need you, – you. this is why I wasn't a huge fan of that play call. Like, I know I was talking about crossers, but, but yeah, even out routes. And now they're getting around the 10-yard line. This is this is about to be close. Oh, boy, seven seconds. My heart is racing. I mean – Oh, eight. See, that's why I said, that's why I said three plays. I mean, honestly, at the least at this point, you can maybe squeeze. I mean, two plays at the least from here, 
you could maybe squeeze in three. Like, maybe. Okay, Vikings are going to take a timeout. All right. My uh, notifications are blowing up a little bit, but we're going to have to go ahead and not check those out until the game is over. I'm watching a little bit delayed. Do not want any spoilers going on, you know. I mean, this is this is a game. You, I mean, if you lose this game, the season's over. You give up a touchdown here, the season is over. So obviously, it's not technically over. I mean, the Vikings will still probably find a way to maybe compete. It, it's going to be like um the 2018 season, where like where the Vikings do everything possible, like not make the playoffs, and all they have to do in the final game of the season is beat the Bears, and they still can't. You know, so all right. Ooh, little hard count. Ooh, that was all right. This is gonna probably be the last play of the game. I know I was talking about um probably they could squeeze in three plays, but that that play developed a little bit longer. Also, it's fourth down at this point, so I mean they're either gonna get in the end zone or they're not. Yep. This this man, his job was is on the line right now. I mean, we lose this game, it's it's over for my for my boy. So I shouldn't say my boy, I mean, but it's over for Zim. Vikings are gonna take another timeout. So this is a situation where you can put like three dudes at I mean, two dudes in the middle of the end zone, two dudes on the left of the end zone, two dudes on the right of the end zone. Rush three, two in the middle of the like two on the five yard line. This is a situation where you can do that because you don't care about them getting short of the end zone. I mean, let's just let's just be real. All right, coming up next, Baltimore at Pittsburgh, San Francisco at Seattle. Should be some interesting games. Both of those um, definitely mean something for seeding. Ooh, man, he had number 35. Uh, Godwin, dude. All right, final play of the game. Maybe. There could be a flag. Real ones remember Raiders, Chiefs, Thursday Night Football. Yeah, you, you don't want him covered, but he's going to be. We're only rushing three. How much longer can I do it? How much longer can I do it? I talked all that trash. Man. How? I'm not watching no cushion. How much longer can we go through it? How much longer can we suffer through it? Justin Jefferson, please request a trade. <laughs> oh my, I'm used to it at this point. I'm used to it at this point. I mean, yeah, that's all I can say. Appreciate y'all watching, man. Appreciate y'all watching. I'm so, I'm sorry. I, this might be the last time I ever react to this trash team. Okay. Oh, brother. Oh, brother. Peace.